guys. Yep. It is a little foggy out here this morning, but we just got her going. We just left Sox Center, Minnesota. Only got about 3.4 or 3.6 miles or some, something like that from that exit to uh, to the next exit there to where we gotta take the exit and uh, go down Highway 4. Yep. Still have 181 miles to go to our delivery. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna make it for 9 or even 9.30, but whatever. We're trying, we're trying. We got up right away as soon as our 10 is over and we got her going, so can't do anything about that, right? But yeah, it's a beautiful morning out here. Look at that nice sun there to the left peeking through them bushes up there oh I love that you know I love a beautiful morning like that alrighty guys we are still about 49 miles away from our delivery just going through a little bit of a town here right now looks like we will be turning on to a little bit of a bigger road here in a little bit but uh, yeah Look at that, even a farm tractor right here in town. In a half mile, turn left on and then 30 east and then 60 east. All right, RJ, you tell them. You tell us where to go, right? That's right. I think it looks like we're going to be getting onto a bigger road now. We've been on uh, kind of a, the back road stretches of highway up here, so it looks like we're going to be on a little bit of a bigger stretch of a highway. Well, even got a truck stop up here. It's 0.2 yeah. miles. Turn left on and then 30 east and then 60 east. I guess I would have had to go up to here last night if I didn't uh, stop up there in South Center, Minnesota, because I sure didn't see any other truck stop along this road until now. That would have been about two and a half hours worth of driving I would have had to do up to here. So that would have probably put me right at my 11 hours or even. Maybe even a little over, so it's a good thing I stopped up there. I don't know, two of them guys up here even stopped here on the ramp. I guess the truck stop got full and they had to sleep somewhere. That's what it looks like anyways. But yeah, we got us a little ways to go yet and then we'll be at our delivery. Probably about another hour or so. Here we go guys! <laughs> Yeah, we have just gotten unloaded. That was a pretty quick uh, in and out of there today. Last time I was down there, it took a good while for me to get unloaded. And today it didn't take long at all. So I'm happy about that. But this is Blue Earth, Minnesota for you ladies and gentlemen. We were uh, delivering just on the outskirt of uh, the town, but beautiful little town they got up here. That's for sure. But yeah. Yeah, I've just gotten unloaded. So that means uh, we got uh, a little over two hours to go up to our pickup. So uh, we should be there just after. Speed limit well, reduced ahead. GPS says 20 after 1. We should be there so that's awesome that'll give us uh, some time to get loaded yet and then we're supposed to go straight back to the same place we came from not this place on Portage La Prairie I'm talking about because you know we gotta go back to Canada once we deliver a load up here we can't pick up a reload anywhere but we gotta get back to Canada after that that's a fact but yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And 
and uh, see how long that's gonna take us over there to get loaded, right? Well guys, we just filled up a little bit our body and filled up the truck and everything, so uh, now we're good to go. Yes, indeed. We got us uh, 27 miles to go to our pickup. And uh, Rand McNally has been wanting me to go down near these back roads, so uh, I just had to get up on the 35 up to here to this exit because that's where the Flying J was and I needed to get some Google juice. And here we are, we got a full tank of fuel now. So hopefully that load ain't gonna be too heavy. Supposedly it's bags that I'm picking up over there. And I know what they're designed for. They are designed for uh, the product that we pick up over there that goes into bags so uh, big bags like 2,000 pound bags type of deal you know I mean they do have smaller ones but mostly that's what they do so uh, yeah so that's what we're supposed to be picking up over there so uh, I figured since it's probably just plastic bags we can probably talk about it <laughs> Yeah, that's what I figured anyway, so uh, looks like it's starting to come pretty dark over there to the left and that's to the north because that's where we will be going here in a minute too. You might be getting some rain here in a little bit, that's what it looks like. Oh well, it's not like it would be the first time, right? Although this summer it's been uh, pretty crazy with thunderstorms and rain and flooding and all that stuff. I mean, I just saw a bunch of flooding happening last week there in Louisiana. That was crazy, guys. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but I'm sure some of you guys have. But some of the people are from other countries, so you might not have heard about it, but uh, yeah. We had some crazy floods up there in uh, Louisiana. I saw a few pictures there from a pilot there that was like halfway underwater, you know, like crazy. But yeah, a lot of cornfields up here in this area, that's for sure. Look at that, you know, like cornfield after cornfield. Pretty soon there will be time to bring that corn into the bins and sell it. Maybe make a uh, biodiesel from it a lot of these uh, places nowadays they sell it for biodiesel make it biodiesel a lot of gas station uh, gas stations already have that in their diesel and gas and everything too so uh, yeah anyways we're gonna get out of here and uh, we'll uh, get up to our pickup See what happens from there, right? I have just gotten loaded, guy. Loaded, guys. Yes, that's right. Now we are making our way towards Portage La Prairie, Manitoba. What else? That's right. We got us a fairly light load. I mean, it's not super light, but also not heavy. So that's good. They were happy with my trailer. I swept it out and they were really happy with my trailer. But I read my message and it said, uh, I am required to have an, an inspection report sheet from these guys up here just so that way the customer in Portage La Prairie is going to be happy, you know. I found that a bit strange. These guys don't require it, it's the other, it's the delivery place that requires an inspection report. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Normally the place that you pick up is the one that's fussy, but no, that wasn't the case. It's actually the customer demanding it from the other end. <laughs> I found that to be interesting, but oh well. They gotta have an inspection report, they gotta have an inspection report, right? We're gonna give it to them. Which we do have. I even uh, emailed it to Penners when I uh, emailed in my paperwork to get my border crossing set up. So yeah, they already have it. They already sent me a message saying that they have received everything. 
or they received my ACI request or paperwork so yeah they already have it still looking kind of dark up there towards the left now we did get a little bit of a rain shower there earlier just before we got there and it stopped kind of stopped just as we were pulling into the uh, pickup place there so I was kind of happy about that I'm thinking this light is going to change on me but just keep an eye on it well it looks like we're going to make it there we go he made her CR 23 wow look at that a nice Corvette up here red one here to the right yeah the old American Corvette a lot of people are big fans of them they do have great power too but yeah let's make our way uh, towards uh, Minneapolis I suspect we'll have some heavy-duty rush hour traffic while we're trying to navigate our way towards uh, the I-94 hey that comes with uh, with the time you know it's like uh, 10 minutes after 3 already so uh, yeah you can expect some traffic by now that's for sure it looks like I'm gonna be making me a stop here pretty soon not only am I gonna make me just a stop I'm probably gonna call it quits today I'm starting to get tired so uh, I started early this morning and uh, Mile. I only have 59 South CR 82 Fergus Falls. Technically, I could drive another hour and 15 minutes, but uh, I'm done for today. I, it ain't gonna do me any lick of good, anyways, driving any further today, so may as well call her quits up here. Pretty good sized truck stop up here, or a pretty good truck stop up here, so. I think we're just gonna call it a day. It's in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. We got like a big sheaf uh, truck stop or whatever they call it up there. I've been here a few times, so I kind of like it here. So I think we're gonna go in here and uh, call it a day. That's right. That's what we're going to do. Got kind of cloudy here earlier already and uh, thought we were going to get another rain shower but it never did happen so uh, I guess we got lucky this time. Yeah I know RJ I know. I know you're just trying to get me to where I need to go but Looks like we still have plenty of room in there, but and there is starting to fill up though, especially towards the front there, but that always does the first, right? Nobody wants to walk, it seems like, these days anymore. I think we've all of us had the attitude of going to park in the back and do a little bit more walking. I think we could all lose a little bit of the weight, <laughs> myself included. I'm not speaking to anybody in particular. No, that's right. But yeah, here we are. You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And here we go. Let's go in here. Hey, what the heck do they have up there? I never realized that you they had something at your up there. Destination on the right side. Big Chief Truck Stop. Big Chief Truck Stop, that's what it's called. Well, if it's for big boys, it's somebody for me, right? <laughs> yeah. So let's go find us a good parking spot. Not like this guy did. He's even more lazy or whatever. He don't even want to park in the back there where he's supposed to park. Oh well. Looks like we got an opening right there. You guys did see us pull in here, so here we are we parked over here and found us a pretty decent parking spot I would say so yeah we're done for today we're gonna go ahead and render my video and then go to bed so we can get up early again tomorrow morning and uh, make our way down to Portage La Prairie that's a fact guys oh yeah so 
do all of them things that make us love our job and some of them are the thumbs up share the video hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel and all of them good things they make us love our job that's right especially here on YouTube and also don't forget to leave a comment on there below we love that too so with that being said God bless you and have a good one we'll catch you on the next one this is Trucker Rudy signing out behind me that day is gonna come